I go for refuge and full enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, on the accumulations of price of giving and so forth, and may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge and full enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, on the accumulations of price of giving and so forth, and may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge and full enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, by the accumulations of practice of people and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit all such beings. It is exactly the same with each one of us. We all, we, each one of us, we have this incredible treasure of the Buddha, Buddha nature within us. But as long as we don't discover them, we remain such a being. The moment we discover that, um, we, we become enlightened. So this is what the, the Buddha in his sutra said it, and further commented by one Indian master. Acharya on the Nagabodhi. Acharya Nagabodhi. So, what he said is that in Tibetan, Chanju Suyan Sumai, Chanju Suyan Jimai Suyan Sumai, Ranju Yon Sushabadi Tela Sangi Sangi Ju, which means that the Buddhahood is not endowed by anyone to you. Or, sorry, Buddhahood is not bestowed upon you by anyone. No, the, Buddha, the cause of the Buddhahood is held by anyone else. It is you through discovering your own Buddha nature that the Buddhahood is achieved. So the, the Buddhahood, this perfect treasure of happiness is within each one of us. Yet, um, if you don't discover this, it will remain forever hidden. And where the moment you discover this, you are a Buddha. Okay. So for that, the Buddha nature, what is the Buddha nature like within us? The example we gave of the water, the dirty water. However dirty the water is, the true, the true nature of water is not dirty. You can remove the dirt and the purity comes out from within. So that purity which existed while the, the dirt were there, um, that purity is known as the, the, the nature of the purity. 
So that is exactly how our Buddha nature exists within our mind. So now this Buddha nature, um, it is of two kinds. Buddha nature is of two kinds, what is known as the Rashiniri, meaning the natural Buddha nature, and Gekuric, proliferating Buddha nature, the two Buddha natures. Rashiniri, the natural Buddha nature, natural Buddha nature, and the proliferating Buddha nature. Okay, so to identify what the proliferating Buddha nature is, it is the, the mind, the mind which is tainted, the mind within us which is tainted by the mental defilements is known as the proliferating Buddha nature, the, the mind which is tainted, the mind which is tainted, a mind which is tainted is known as the proliferating Buddha nature and the emptiness of this mind, empty, emptiness of this mind is known as the natural Buddha nature. Okay, the first one is the uh, first one is the proliferating Buddha nature, which is the 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 mind within us, our mind, which is tainted, our mind, which is tainted, is known as the proliferating Buddha nature. And why why it is known as proliferating? This we'll discuss later. So that mind which is tainted. It's known as the proliferating Buddha nature and the true nature, ultimate nature of the mind, emptiness of the mind, emptiness of this tainted mind, emptiness, emptiness of this tainted mind is known as the natural Buddha nature. Okay. So why the the tainted mind, the mind that the mind within us which is tainted is known as the proliferating by the nature is that this mind although it is tainted when you remove the when you remove the, the stains when you remove the development then this mind this mind automatically when they remove the developments then this mind will become proliferating meaning it will grow it will grow to become the Buddha's mind the mind that we have which is tainted at the moment when the stains are removed, then it will slowly grow. Kate, kate, para, kate, para, sampade, bodhiswaha. The mind will slowly grow into the Buddha's mind. Okay. So therefore, this is known as the proliferating. Pro proliferate means to multiply, to grow. Proliferating Buddha nature. And the other one is the natural Buddha nature. Natural Buddha nature means, say, emptiness of a mind, emptiness of mind, this and the Buddha's, Buddha's emptiness of Buddha's mind, there's no difference. So if the Buddha's mind, nature, the emptiness of Buddha's mind is a Buddha, the emptiness of our mind is also Buddha. So uh, this is known as the natural. Natural. So this, the quality, in fact, there's no difference. Emptiness of the mind, per se, emptiness of our mind, and emptiness of the Buddha mind is the same. But why our emptiness, uh, the emptiness of our mind, why not it is the Buddha, why, why it is not qualified as a Buddha, is because the stains are there. The stains are there. When the stains are removed, this emptiness of mind, which is already existent, we don't have to bring this emptiness of mind. This emptiness of mind is known as the natural Buddha nature. So that, or it does not really grow because it is permanent in nature. Emptiness of mind is permanent, it doesn't grow, it doesn't proliferate. So this, whatever it is, it, it will be there when you become Buddha also. So therefore this is known as what the Buddha has which qualifies the Buddha, but let the Buddha's mind, or no sorry, the Buddha's quality that is exactly what we also have. So this is naturally with us. It is not that we have to grow, we have to cultivate, it is natural with us. So this is known as natural Buddha nature, emptiness of the, our mind. National Buddha nature. Okay, so this em this emptiness of our mind will eventually become the when you become Buddha, this emptiness of your mind, which is the natural Buddha nature, will become the Dharmakaya. Will become the natural Dharmakaya. Will become the natural Dharmakaya. Okay. So in this connection, the Nikko the Nasa, when are you going to show this? Afternoon at four o'clock. Afternoon at four o'clock. I say the uh, there is one thing we meditate on emptiness of the person, emptiness of the flower, 
And this is the flower we go into the say first we go into the cells, then we go into the chromosomes, then we go into the molecules and atoms. So this is how we zoom into the flower. So finally we end up in the atoms. We can go beyond that, but the atom is good enough. We stay here. And then we ask, where, what are you seeing? I'm seeing the millions of atoms. And where is the flower? The flower is empty. You're getting it? Okay, this is what we did. And the, so there, the NASA company did uh, the meta document film, which is, which is extremely helpful. NASA company is extremely helpful. So what it does is that it did the same thing. What we are talking about, it um, did it on the basis of the the leaf, a leaf, a foliage, a foliage, a leaf from a bush, from a bush, and then first it zooms, zooms out, it goes out, out, for example, say, I think in America, somewhere in Miami or somewhere, so from there, then the whole America is seen, then the whole world is seen, then the whole solar system is seen, then the whole universe, Milky Way galaxy, then the universe, so this is how it zoom, zoom out. So that will be helpful for us to think about impermanence, to think about the how minuscule we are, how insignificant we are. So like this sense of urgency, sense of the samsaric nature, this is what we can see. So now what is more important is the second part. The second part when it zooms in from the universe, it goes to the Milky Way galaxy, to the solar system, to the Earth, to America, to this particular place, then to this bush, then to the leaf. It goes like this, to the leaf. And from the leaf, so when it comes back from there, then the second half is what you can use for, what we can use for emptiness meditation. So from this, the leaf, then it goes into the, first into the, say, the, it's under the electron microscope. So first you see the, the tender leaf, then it changes, the, it not, it, there's nothing really change happening there, but your perception is changing, you start seeing the hairy thing, and the slowly the cracks, then the cell, cell membranes, then the nucleus, cytoplasm, within the nucleus, the chromosomes, okay. So there were several phases, chromosomes, then the DNA molecules, then the molecules, then the atoms, okay. It goes actually atoms and then electrons it will go to the body. So we can go up to the atom. Okay. So then what we should be doing is that first we should be obs observing what this leaf is like, the foliage of the leaf. What this leaf is like. Very clearly. And then you go into to see the to the level of the say the, the nucleus, the cytoplasm, cell membrane, then go down to the chromosomes. When you reach the level of chromosomes, okay, this is, this would be very helpful. Usually, this is how I do it. You can also do like this for the time being. Then later on, after your own, say, gaining some command over the meditation on the emptiness, then you can design your own meditation on emptiness. That's fine. For the time being, you'll be able to follow this trend. That would be very helpful. So what I do is that I go to the, to the first to this point, the point of the, uh, the chromosome. So chromosome, so initially the leaf, leaf seems to be okay, it's fine, beautiful, and likewise the flower, it's a leaf, you can think of that as a flower, it's beautiful, and when it comes to the chromosome, it's no more beautiful, it's very scary to look at, but if your chromosome, which is the real chromosome, seen on the electron microscope, we say that it's like a striped, striped, the, um, the snakes, brownish, very much a positive to look at, so the earlier video of the appear, the flower disappears. Okay, so the chromosome. You can stay there and then ask yourself, uh, where is the beautiful flower? Where is the beautiful leaf? It's empty. It's not one with the chromosomes, not different from the chromosomes. And it's not really near. It's not really there from the object. So stay in this experience. Just the, the emptiness of the, the flower, emptiness of the leaf. Once you're done with this, then you go in this, even this chromosome, which is so repulsive to look at, it is made of DNA molecules. And the molecules are made of atoms. Stay there. Now what are you seeing? I'm seeing the atoms. Where is this very ugly chromosome? 
repulsive chromosome, it disappears. So the chromosome is not one with atoms, no different from the atoms. Whereas the chromosome is just empty, it disappears from the object, it disappears. Stay in this experiment for a while. Okay, and then, um, so then you can make a conclusion that since everything is dependent, everything comes into being by dependence on its factors, dependence on its parts, there's nothing really there, independently the object really there from the object as that object. So everything is just empty, comes from the mind, nothing from the object. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, um, the, watching the, the NASA company document, which will be um, shown to you at 4 o'clock. Okay, so there what I'm saying is that you can focus on this one. The first belief, what belief is like. Okay, first zooming, zooming out, going to the universe. That is for the other practices. Then zooming in, going back to leaf, from leaf, then zooming in. That is very important for us, managing emptiness. So there are three stages. One, the leaf, what the leaf is like. Then you go to the level of the chromosomes, what the chromosome is like, number two. Then you go to the level of the atoms, what the atoms is like. Right? Three phases. You see the emptiness of the emptiness of the leaf, emptiness of the chromosome, emptiness of the atoms. Even the atoms is made of electrons, protons, neutrons. So when you go into the electrons, protons, this atom, even the atom disappears. So you see that on all three levels, we see the emptiness of these objects, emptiness. So from this, we conclude that since there is no phenomena which is not dependent or originated, therefore there is no phenomena which is not empty of independent existence. Okay, so this is what I'm going to watch uh, this afternoon and make sure that you particularly take note of these three points and then you can make a, uh, first you watch this and later on you can get a copy of that. You can get a copy of that clip. Everybody can take the copy and then once in a while you look at it, they will reinforce your set of emptiness. Okay, this is one thing. Now, the meditation on the emptiness of the pain, emptiness of the feeling, emptiness of the mind. Okay. For the emptiness, so this, what we do is that we could do the meditation on emptiness of the mind. Once you know how to do the meditation on emptiness of the mind, the feeling of pain, suffering, they are all a part of the mind. You can apply this to the pain in the same way, just in the same way. Okay, for the meditation emptiness of the mind, there are several ways of doing this. There are several ways of doing this. One, one is looking at the present moment. Present moment of the mind, right? Okay. The first one is looking at the present moment of the mind. Okay. Say the, the of body, what we have is we have the body and we have the mind. And our body is made of the physical parts, particles. And the mind is made of the, mind does not have particles. Mind, mind is not physical. Mind has a parts in the form of temporal segments, parts in time, parts in time, which, which is known as Temporal segments. Okay, so the body exists in space and time both. Mind exists in time only, not space. Don't forget it. Body exists in time and also in space. Whereas the mind exists only in time, not in space. So with this mind, since that the mind exists in time, we need to know what time is. Or if we know what time is, then we'll know how the mind exists in time, and then we can speak about, we can meditate on the, reflect and meditate on the emptiness of the mind. Time. Time should have three components. Time, any time, any time, however long, however short the time, it should necessarily have three components. Three components. The past, the present, and the future. Right? Okay. Past, present, future. Okay, now let's see. 
and the, we look, we, we explore what the present is. If we cannot find what the present is, so actually, conventionally speaking, conventionally speaking, we see that uh, 2017 left. 2018, which was, which was future, slowly became present. 2017, which was present, eventually became past. So this is how the time flows. And 2019, now taking over the taking over as the future to be replacing the present next year. So this is how the time flows. You get it? So for this, we see that 2017 is the past, 2018 is the present, and 2019 is the future. You agree with me? Right? Time, when you speak about time, it should, the time, you can think of that in the three states, past, present, future. If the present, if you cannot locate present, then past makes no sense, because past is what eventually the present becomes the past. If the present is not there, then the future cannot become the, the present. So future makes no sense. Past makes no sense. So therefore, if you cannot locate what the present is, you cannot locate past and future. If you cannot locate past, present, future, you cannot locate time. If time doesn't exist, you cannot locate what the mind is. Because mind exists in time. You cannot locate what the mind is. You're getting it? Okay. So what we explore here is we explore what the time is uh, by, by, ex by exploring what the present is. And to our amazement, you realize that we cannot posit the present moment. Right? Okay. Okay. Later. Okay. So now, present. Present. Present being a time, again, it has three components. Because we said that however short a time is, however short a time is, it should necessarily have three components. Past, no, let's say the past, present, future, this is time. And however short a duration of time is, it should have necessarily have three components, beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, middle, and end. And if there is no beginning, middle, and end, it is not a time. Right? If there is no beginning, middle, and end, it is not a time. For example, can speak can specify a time duration, any time duration. Can you specify any time duration? One minute. One minute. One minute has one minute has sixty seconds. You're getting it? Sixty seconds. So when you're experiencing the of the sixty, if you're experiencing the thirtieth second, thirtieth second, the first twenty-nine are gone. And the, the remaining uh, remaining 30, they're yet to come. So therefore, we see that any moment of time, any moment of time, it should necessarily have beginning, middle, and end. Okay, let's say. Okay, let's see that the time, say the total, these three, these two, three together is say one time, one time. And the, okay, let's say, let's say the, this is one second, let's say one second, one second, one second, three seconds, one of the other flow, three seconds flow, right? Now, 
we discuss that the say each of these seconds are also time. This also time, this time, this time. First is the time. Time should necessarily have <coughs> three components. What are they? Beginning, Beginning yeah. middle, and end. So let's say this is the middle one. This also is time. Middle one also is time. This also has a beginning, middle, and end. And if you said no, this shortest moment of time which does not have a beginning, middle, end, right? Which means beginning and end these two are same? You have to say yes. If the beginning and end are same, then the <coughs> A, end of A is beginning of B. End of B is beginning of C. You're getting it? Say, Beginning of A, beginning of B, and end of B, if these two are same, then end of A and beginning of C should be same. Right? Begin, end of A and beginning of C should be same. If end of A and beginning of C should be same, A and C should join. A and C should join. If A and C joins, then the B doesn't make any sense. So the B doesn't become a time. So for it to be set, for B to be set as a time, it should have a beginning, middle, end. Only if there's a beginning, middle, end, then it can go between A and C. You're getting it? Okay, this is extremely important. Now, with this awareness, with this awareness, we see that the present moment of the time. We're looking for the present moment of the time. If you cannot locate what the present moment of the time is, then the past and the future makes no sense. Because the present only because the present exists, then the present flows to become the past, and the future flows to become the present. Whereas if you cannot posit what the present is, then the, the it will never become past, so past doesn't exist. And if the present never exists, then the future cannot become present, the future doesn't make sense. So, the three time makes no sense. If the three time makes, makes no sense, then time makes no sense. If the time doesn't make sense, everything should remain still. Mind should not change. If mind doesn't change, then mind is not a mind. Right? Mind makes no sense. Because mind exists only in time. It doesn't exist in space. Okay. So now with this, okay, say, the... Um, <laughs> okay. So what we do is that uh, say the first very easy for you. First, your job is just listen to the gong and enjoy this. <laughs> listen and enjoy. Enjoy the present moment of the gong, sound of the gong, sound of the bell. You're getting it. Ready? Just enjoy the sound. <laughs> The next is say the the gong that you already heard. Are you enjoying this gong? No, that is past. I I asked you, are you enjoying? I did not ask you, did you enjoy? I'm not asking, did you enjoy? Are you enjoying 2017? No. Why not? It's gone. This is gone. Are you enjoying 2019? No. No, no. why? It's yet to come. Not yet, because it's yet to come. Okay. You're only interested in what you are enjoying. Right? 
How many of you are worried about the how many of you are worried? How many of you are worried of the say when you were two years old? No, for the past. Whatever happened, happened, finished. And difficult life, difficult childhood. Easy, happy childhood, finish. Right? What about are you worried now? Right? Okay, maybe some people worry about it. Say so the unpredictable future. <laughs> Only a future, right? So after 40 years, who cares after 40 years too long, right? So I'm concerned about now, now, present moment, present. You're getting it? Okay, let's watch the present moment. Let's watch the present moment. Present moment when you are listening, right? When I hit it and then you are listening, you are listening. You are listening meaning the present moment. Just a present moment. Forget about the past. Forget about the future. Only the present moment. Just observe the present moment. And next, I'll give you another task. The first one is just observe the present moment and feel this. Yes, I am experiencing the present moment. Right? Okay. Ready? said, I am experiencing the present moment. Yes. Was there a time? I didn't say, is there a time? Was there a time when you were listening at that point, you were saying, I am experiencing the present moment. Did you have that moment? Did you not experience the present moment? Did you not experience at that point? Huh? Yes, right. At that point, when the, when you were when you were hearing the gong, at that point you go back in time. In that time, yes, I am hearing the present moment of the sound. Such a sound did it exist? Yes. Yes. When you said, I'm not saying when you are saying you're not saying anything. When you said. I was experiencing, I am experiencing the present moment of time. Such a time, did it happen? Huh? Yes, of course. Yes. Listen to this present moment once more. Right? Okay. Was there a time, was there a time when I hit this gong that you're observing it and you felt, you felt, I am experiencing the present moment. Was there such a time? No. Of course. No time. Every time I say this in my head, it's already gone. No, no. Did you, were you okay? Are you, are you experiencing me now? Right? Like this. Were you experiencing the sound? Of course. This is what I'm saying. Were you experiencing the sound? There are two things. Two ways of saying the same thing. I could put it in two ways. Did you experience a sound? You will say yes. When did you experience that? One minute ago. One minute ago, did you feel I am experiencing the sound? One minute ago, did you feel I am experiencing sound? Yes. yes, of course. Okay, now the next job, more difficult. Right? That's why it's easy. This I am experiencing the sound. I am experiencing. Right? I am experiencing the sound. Forget about the past, forget about the future. Only experiencing. 
not what you experienced, not what you are going to experience, only what you are experiencing. Right? Not only you observe this, you observe the duration, how long is that time. You ready? Present moment. You ready? What's the duration? Huh? Hey, what is the duration? Virginia? Eleven seconds. Huh? Eleven seconds. Okay, about eleven seconds. Anyone else? Anyone else? Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds? <laughs> Not possible to? To say. Not possible to say. Okay, 11 seconds, 15 seconds, not possible to say. The duration of the sound. Duration of the sound. So if it lasts for, say, the 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds, 15, 15 seconds. No, can you say 11 seconds? Anyone else? A nanosecond. Okay, nanosecond. Anyone else? <coughs> One second. Okay. Let's so let's say well, let's say let's say the once okay first let's say the, the longest duration which is fifteen seconds then go to one second then go to nanosecond then go to cannot say right okay first let's say fifteen seconds fifteen seconds what I what did I say I asked you to just observe the present moment. Right? And you are reporting to me what you experience as a present moment at that time. So you said 15 minutes, 15 seconds. I ask you, ignore all the past, ignore all the future. You getting it? 15 seconds is time. Is the beginning, middle, and the end. Beginning cannot be included. Beginning is gone. End cannot be included because it's here to come. Only the middle, one third of 15 seconds. One third of what is one third of 15 seconds? Five seconds. If there is a present moment that you experience, it cannot be more than five seconds. 15 seconds is illusion. Those you are mixing three things. I ask you not to mix. You don't mix the past and the future, right? So you mix the past and the future, don't mix. If you don't mix, is five seconds. Okay, who said eleven seconds? <laughs> Which is eleven seconds? Same. Eleven seconds. Again, it is a time. It is a beginning, middle, and the end. Beginning is gone. End is yet to come. Right. So, if you really experience something, it should be one third of eleven second, which is little more than three seconds. You're getting it. Not 11 seconds. You, you're you mixing past and future here. And who said one second? So one second. One second is also time. It should begin, middle, and end. Beginning is gone, and is yet to come. If you really experience something as a present, it cannot be more than one third of a second. One second, you're mixing your past and the future. It's wrong. You're getting it? Okay, one nanosecond. Same, one nanosecond is in time. Time means it's a beginning, middle, and end. But it's gone. It's the end. It's not really one level second. It should be less than one third of a level second. Okay. Now, you cannot say what Patrick said. You cannot say. If you cannot say this, you are in, in a way that can Buddha say it? You may not be able to say it, but can the Buddha say it? Huh? If you say the Buddha cannot say this, then the present doesn't exist. If the present doesn't exist, past doesn't exist. If past and present doesn't exist, future doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. If time doesn't exist, everything that is in time should be non-existent. Mind should be non-existent. Right? Okay. Now, listen to this again. Listen to the sound again. And first, 
without observing how long, just see whether F or whether I am experiencing something. This is my question. I am experiencing something. I am experiencing the sound. You're getting it? Okay. Just see. And if you say, yes, yes, I am experiencing, then we will proceed to the second. Did you experience the sound? Did you experience the sound? When you say, I am experiencing, if you remove the I, if you remove the N, only one thing is there, experiencing. No, no, I'm not talking about this. Are you experiencing the sound? Yes. Okay, which is more pleasant sound? Okay, listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I'll, I'll, I'll show you two sounds. Right? Which is more pleasant, you tell me. The first one. <laughs> number two, number two. <laughs> tell me which is more pleasant. Tell me which is more pleasant. Tell me which is more pleasant. Second one. Did you hear the first one? Yes. <laughs> yes. Did you hear the second one? <laughs> Did you hear the second one? Yes. All of you, not only Daniel. Did you hear the first one? Yes. yes. Was there a time you said, yes, it was very disturbing sound? <laughs> you heard it? Yes. Second one very pleasant. Right? Okay. If you heard it, if you heard it, you heard it in the present, past, and future. When I was hitting it, when I was hitting it at that time, were you hearing it as a present or the past or the future? Present. How long is this duration? The pleasant sound. <laughs> Not the disturbing sound. <laughs> huh? How long is it? The, the, how long is that duration? Huh? Three seconds. Three seconds. Okay. Three seconds is your present. Are you, in, are you including 2017 sound? Did you include 2017 sound? No, why not? 2017 is past. Don't include anything of the past, right? And did you include in that sound, did you include 2019 sound? No, why not? Future. Oh, good. Now, uh, what I ask is the sound. There, just tell me only the present. Don't include mixed with the past and the future, right? Because 16 you don't want to include it because it's past. 19 you don't want to include it because it is future. You only bring the first person one. Now tell me, what's the duration? What's the duration of the person one song? Instant. What duration is that? Is it longer than one second? No. No, shorter than one nanosecond? Yes. Or shorter than nanosecond? Shorter than nanosecond. You can hear a sound which is shorter than nanosecond. I <laughs> lots of instance. I know. I know. I know. I'm saying, did you experience a sound which you call as a present moment sound? Yes. How, do, how long is the duration? After studying antennas for six days, you now don't know even if it was a present moment of sound. Huh? Your mother talks to you, you maybe say, I'm mixing three things. <laughs> present, past, and future. Right? No, you cannot say present. If you cannot say present, the past and future makes no sense. There's no time. Then what do you... Okay, are you, are you in Chakra Sam... <laughs> what is not Chakra Sam? Chakra, chakra Center? Are you in Kala Chakra Center? My question to you, hey. Yes. yes. You said yes. <laughs> right? Which means it's present. So presence is in the air. You're getting, you're getting it? Presence is in the air. Well, are you in present? Are you in Kala Chakra Center? Yes. yes. What's that duration? I am in Kala Chakra Center. I am. What's that duration? Huh? One second. One <laughs> week? One week. One week. 
Okay. <laughs> Virginia, you were here four times, right? More than four times, right? Okay, when you say, I am here, did you include the other earlier moments? Why not? They are parts. Okay, so six, what the six days? Six days? There is no past. Six days has beginning, middle and end, yes? And begins gone. Yes? Begins gone, begins past. So, Virginia is not eager to include the earlier visits because they are past. So beginning is past, don't include this. And the end years will come, which is future, they will come, remove it. So it's not six days. Maximum is one third of the six day. Even one third of the six day is again same. So with this analysis, you see that you cannot posit your, you cannot posit the present moment. Okay, now, let's see. With the object, the sound of the bell, sound of the bell, and your mind flow together. Some of the bell is flowing as an object, your mind is flowing as a subject. Flow together, right? Okay. Some of the bell is flowing, your mind is also flowing together. If you cannot posit the present moment of the sound flowing, you cannot posit the present moment of the mind flowing. If the present moment makes no sense, then you cannot posit the present, the, the past and the future. In this case, you cannot posit the, the, the mind, right? Okay, with this, it can be, if you meditate on this, if you meditate on this, where is the present moment? You cannot posit it. When you cannot posit it, it is quite disturbing. Your mind will feel a great disturbance, little the unease and disturbance, and uh, not really agitated, but really disturbed, right? And fear can arise. If that happens, if it is too much, if the fear is too much, stop doing the meditation, right? So with this sound bell, bell flows, your mind also flows. You just observe the present moment of mind. Present moment of mind, just hearing the sound, present moment of sound. And then stop it. Then remember, remember bring to recollection, memory of the present moment. Memory of what you call as the present moment of the sound. Okay, is that really the present moment? Is the beginning, middle, and end? The beginning is gone, it's not present. And is it to come? It's not present. Present at the moment, at the most, is the one third of this. One third of this, again, one third of this also has the beginning, middle, and end. The beginning is gone, and is it to come? One third, one third of the second. You keep going as, keep going as, eventually it becomes less than one nanosecond. Less than one nanosecond. If there's a present moment, if there's a present moment that you've heard the sound, that your mind, there is present moment of the mind, which you which heard the present moment of the sound, it should be less than one nanosecond. If it's less than one nanosecond, you cannot possibly hear this. Less than one nanosecond duration duration sound, you cannot hear it. Okay. So what we do is that I'll show you something, and uh, you have to tell me what that is, right? Okay, ready? Okay. So, so, so that, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll show you. I'll be very generous. <laughs> I'll be very generous to you. I'll show this for more than one minute and a second. I'll show you this for a duration which is much longer than one and a second. And tell me what that is. Alright? Good job. You ready? Ready?
is much longer than one nanosecond. What did you see? <laughs> what did you see? Paper. No, what is written there? I know it is a paper. Okay, I'll show you once more. It's going to be much longer than one nanosecond. No, much longer than ten nanoseconds. I will be very generous. Ready? <laughs> what did you see? You didn't see anything. Why you did not see anything? Tell me. Huh? Why you did not see anything? Why? Its duration is too short. You did it so fast. One nanosecond is much faster than this duration. How can you possibly hear the sound of one nanosecond? You're getting it? So therefore, the duration, the duration of the sound present moment cannot be one less than one nanosecond. The moment it becomes less than one nanosecond, you cannot hear it. You get it? Okay. Now, so therefore, if, if it is not one nanosecond, then longer than one nanosecond, it involves past, present, and future. The moment it is mixed, we interest only for the present moment. You look for the present moment. You cannot look at what the present moment is. If you cannot look at the present moment of the sound, you cannot look at the present moment of the mind. If you cannot look at the present moment of the mind, the past and the future moment of the mind is also not possible. So what you see as a mind is just illusion. Okay, now, can you, can you just observe your own mind? Right? My mind is not disturbed now. I'm not, my mind is not excited now. My mind is neutral now. Can you observe it? Can you sense it? Can you experience it? Good. That is actually like illusion. That I'm experiencing present moment. It's just illusion. This is just an illusion, right? So if you follow this this analysis, you see that what I'm experiencing is just illusion. It eventually is mixed with because it's time. It should begin, middle, and end. Beginning is the past. I'm only interested in present. And is yet to come, right? Okay, so then we see that what am I experiencing? Or what, I, what I think I'm experiencing, that duration is one second. Whatever second, whatever time duration I pick up, that invariably involves the beginning, the end, which is not present. So, what experience is present? I, I deniably, undeniably, I experience as a sound. That's actually an illusion. Undeniably, I experience the present moment of the mind. This is illusion. Okay, this is extremely powerful meditation. And should anyone do it, and then you feel that overwhelmingly scary, then I would suggest you stop it. Stop this meditation, you have to do something else. And the meditation, other meditations. Okay, this is one thing. Now, the Likewise, then you say, for example, you feel stress, you feel stress, you feel depressed, you feel going into depression, feeling lonely, feeling very happy. When you go through such a phase in your life, then you go to your room, close the door, sit yourself comfortably, and do a do little bit of breathing meditation, like for about like 21 cycles of breathing meditation, which will take about a little over one minute to the breathing meditation to come in mind. And then observe your mind. Okay, I'm going to a very low space of my, my mind. My mind is feeling so lonely, so depressed. Okay, what is, how long is this duration? I'm not concerned about the depression that I, had, that I had 10 years ago. Past, I don't care. I'm not concerned about the depression which I would go through after maybe after 20 years. It's future. I'm only concerned about the present moment. Present depression. This is what torments me. This is what the the makes me uncomfortable. So what's this present moment of the depression? What's the present moment of the stress? What's the present moment of the the feeling of low? Just observe this. Yes, I experience this present moment of the feeling of loneliness, feeling of low, feeling of pain. Okay. This thing, with this feeling that I'm experiencing, see, it's like one second. 
One second minute is at the beginning, middle, and end. But it's past, I'm not interested. And they say, come, why should I worry? The person is just one third. If there's something as a person, it's one third, not, not all one second. It's one third of a second. Even one third of a second, even that's also in time. Beginning, middle, and end. You go like this, then you see that this depression, which I earlier experienced as something so painful, something so surreal, it disappears. When it disappears, the feeling of lightness will come to you instantly. When this disappears, your mind, very depressed, heavy, suddenly it's heavily disappear, and then the feeling of lightness will come, will replace it. It's a very powerful practice. Very powerful practice. Right? Yet, for some people, the say it can create an acute fear that nothing to hold on to as I, nothing to hold on to as a mind. It can be very scary. If that happens, then stop it. If a tinge of fear comes, it doesn't matter. Just continue doing this. If a tinge of fear comes, it doesn't matter. If it's not too overwhelming, just continue doing this. Then this fear will be replaced by tremendous joy later on. It will be replaced by incredible tranquility, peace of mind um, will be take over. Okay, this is one part. Now another thing, another thing that we can do is okay, it's quite a little similar what we have done now versus what we're gonna do the second part. The second part is second part is the way we did with the flower. The way we did the flower, the way we did with the cell, that I am made of six elements. Which of the six elements is me? You're getting it? Which of the six elements is me? None. Keep it aside six elements. Where is the where is I? None. You're getting it? Not one with the past. No, not different from the past. So therefore, the self doesn't exist objectively in the eyes of the in the eyes of the ultimate. Analysis. You're getting it? Okay, this is similar to this. So the mind, for example, say you're going through a pain, feeling low, feeling low, feeling a little depressed, heavy. Okay, again, do the same thing. Close the door, be in the room, do a little bit of breathing meditation, then observe this feeling, feeling of low. Okay, let's say, okay, I'm feeling low, low now. What's it feeling like? What's it go? Okay, just you don't have to analyze present, future, and so forth. Don't analyze it. Simply this feeling of lowness. Feeling of lowness. Okay, just try to feel this. Duration, don't work about, don't, don't think about duration. Just see that I'm experiencing yes. I'm not worried about the past. I'm not about the future, just the present, present of my feeling so low. Okay, this feeling, this feeling, try to remember it very vividly, very clearly, very clearly. Okay, now you see that this feeling is actually made of, this feeling, if it is, if it lasts for like, say, they say, if you feel feeling of low, feeling of low, feeling of low, if it lasts for, let's say, I say one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever duration. Say one minute. One minute is nothing but made of sixty seconds. You're getting it? <coughs> it's very important again, very powerful meditation. One minute is nothing but made of sixty seconds. And the sixty seconds they don't arise, they don't come to you simultaneously together. Right? One minute together. No. One after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Yes? First second gone, then second second comes. Then the remaining year to come. Second one comes and goes, and the third one comes. So what you actually experience, what you actually experience is not the whole. What you actually experience is not the whole. From just a tiny segment. Just a tiny segment, not the whole. You're getting it? Because by the time you you experience the first one, the remaining fifty nine seconds are yet to experience. When you experience the second second, the first one is gone and the remaining 59 are yet to be experienced. Right? So you, what you actually experience is just one second, not really one minute. Right? 
But then, if that's the case, then where's this one minute pain which I experience one minute pain? Where's this? Which I ask you to remember very vividly. One minute pain. It's just illusions. It's just illusion. You get it? Like, say, you see that each of these parts, first second, third second, second second, third second, fourth second, which is which is the the one minute pain? None. It's not one with the parts. These are the parts. It's not one with the parts. Keeping aside these parts, there's no, no one minute pain. No different from the parts. Right? Where is this whole pain? It's not there. Right? Just as the self disappears, the whole pain disappears. With the six elements, the self disappears. Likewise, with each of these segments, segments which do not arise simultaneously, they arise one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, the whole disappears. Right? The whole disappears. Okay. This is number two. This is number two. Right? Okay. Closely connected to this, very closely connected to this, the very close connection to this is another meditation. Okay, let's say I am very unhappy. How do you say this in French? Je suis très uh -huh. Je suis très <laughs> Say to me. Je suis Je Je suis Je suis Très Un Très Très ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Now I'm not listening. Then you ask Eric, did you hear it? Eric said, yes, I heard it. Anna Sophie, did you hear this? Yes, I heard it. Nicola, Ossian, yes. Jislin, you heard it. Yes, Ma, everybody heard it, right? Hey, you're unhappy. Did you see the mother? No. Mary? No. But I heard it. Okay, look. You undeniably heard it, but nobody said it. Nobody said it. Right? Then how come that you heard it? It's just your mind which creates illusion. Your mind combined all these all these words together and you create illusion. That I heard somebody said Joshi Right? This is what your mind combined together. And then you got the impression that somebody said it. Okay, now this is example. Now what you do is that in your own in your own experience, you say that okay, today I feel I feel very unhappy. I am Joshi Tamala. Right? <laughs> okay, so who is saying this? Your body is saying this, your mind is saying this. Your mind is saying this. The first moment of the mind said, Joe, right? Joe and then left. Second moment one mind came. Second moment mind said shu and then left. Right? And third moment mind came and said te and then left. And fourth moment mind came and said ma and left. And fifth moment came and said le and left. And fifth, sixth moment said e right? and left. Right? And left. Which mind said it? No mind said it. And then your mind. Your mind, right? Just put them all together, create the illusion, and said that Joshi Actually, it's not that, right? There's no mind within you who said that I'm the Joshi right? Okay, this is just illusion that you've created. Okay, if you think like this, again, it's very powerful, right? Again, it's very powerful. Okay. Okay, now of the okay.